Well, I wasn't learning much living from my father, so, <laughs> so I, I got I got discouraged sitting at home. I went to Green Bay and enlisted in the army, and my, the big war was on then. Mm -hmm. I told the I, I told the guy the intruder. I says I I want I'd like to get into outfit that's gonna get over to France quick, and I want to, I, and I and and I'll let you tell me you do you pick out the place where you want me to go, whatever I could be used that's where I want to go. I didn't say I wanted to be in a particular branch, and so he did. He said we're gonna we're gonna put you in the twentieth engineers. They were just just getting ready to go to their home pretty soon. So I, I I got left. I got all rigged up. And we trained in, and we trained in in, in uh, North uh, in Washington mm -hmm. for two weeks. Mm -hmm. What they call Camp American University, Washington. Okay. We trained there for two weeks, and then we went to the boat to go across. Well, let me ask you a question. How did you feel about going into an engineering unit instead of? Regular. How did you feel about going into an engineering company instead of a regular infantry? Oh, I, regiment? I, I did never thought about it at all. Uh huh. I, we, I had no idea what I was getting into. Did you know what an engineering uh, uh, no, unit I did? I didn't know what they did. Uh huh. Uh, they could do anything. Build roads. They could do anything. But did you know that when you went in? Did you know I, what an? Oh yes, I knew oh, that. Did. Okay. Sure. Well, anyway, when we got on the boat to go across. The first thing we heard, there was a, we had we had a, a two box cars full of barracks beds uh -huh. and had all kinds of equipment that we could use when we got to France. We we had it there to help us. Fire, burnt the boat, boat the uh, boat car burnt the hell. Mm -hmm. We lost everything. Mm -hmm. When we got on the boat, all we had was one uh, two blankets and a mess kit. Didn't you tell me last time that uh, that you think it was sabotage? Yeah. That you think that it was that's German German saboteurs burned the boxcars? That's what I think. Where did that happen? In New York. It happened in New York. Yeah, in New York. So while you were waiting to get on the boat. Yeah. They, the, the, what what was the name of the boat that you went over on? Do you remember? Sure, I forgot that. But you remember the boat you came back on, right? No, I don't remember him. I, I forgot that name, I think, too. I think... You did know it last time. I, I, I'd have to look. Yeah, I, I have a copy of the postcard. Um, so you got on the boat to go over, and you only had two blankets and a mess kit. And that's yeah, all you had, and, all and the clothes had. you were wearing. Yeah. And and four days, I thought I was in heaven. Oh, it was so nice. The, the sea was quiet. I was watching the poor boy, poor boys, fly on there diving alongside the boat. And about the fourth day, we got the rough. And I got sick. And I was sick. Don't take it. I, for four, almost four the whole days, I laid uh, on that boat like a pig. I never ate a mouthful. I couldn't eat. Oh, I, said, I don't know what the all of us just thought of us. Oh, they didn't give us hell, though. Well, anyway, then, uh, well, yeah, then about, about that time, you know what they made us do? They wouldn't let us undress. Hmm. We had the rest of the trip. To our campsite, we had to wear all our clothes except shoes. Mm -hmm. They allow us to wear our shoes. Mm -hmm. All right. Why? Why did they not let you undress? Huh? Why well, did they, they make you? They said in case uh, you was in case they get torpedoed. Uh huh. We, and that's why we had a we had a we were trained. We were trained. Uh -huh. What to do if a U boat struck us? Eh? What were you supposed to do? If that well, happened? go on deck. Uh huh. We were told we how to march on deck. And where we were supposed to stand, and everything. So that uh, did. Then, did you ever see a U-boat? Huh? Did you ever see yeah, a U-boat? I mean, I'll get to that. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> uh, the, uh, on the fourth day, I didn't have nothing to eat then yet, and I went down. That we see, in order to eat breakfast, you had to stand go in line, not mm -hmm. one behind the other. And I went, I went in, and I got a half a grapefruit. And that's something you can eat when you're pretty sick, you know. Mm -hmm. And I ate that, and then I was going to, I sneaked back, and I was going to go and get in the land and go down and through her once more and get another half. And before I could get that, the abandoned ship alarm sounded. Submarines. Mm. On deck, all of us on deck. I know the first thing I did was go on deck, and I threw up my, 
my dinner, my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then uh, after that, it got more quiet. But we had a, we had to live the rest of the, with our clothes on. Mm-hmm. And then we got into the. Uh, so it was a false. It was a false alarm. Yeah, it was. Didn't you? I think you told me last time that you saw the sub chaser. Yeah. And what did you what did you think when you saw? Oh, the, wait, when we, uh, when we were on there in, the, in line on deck, we could see some specks out the distance, and we didn't know what it was. And when they got closer, we discovered they were sub chasers. Oh, it were eleven boats in our convoy. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Uh-huh. And these sub chasers, they're fat. They were going in and around the boats. They're trying that. They were covering us all the watching for subs. So we just and we took they good care of us. What did you What did you think when you saw them? When I saw them. When you saw the sub chasers. Oh, we didn't say anything, but we they thought a lot. <laughs> we were happy. You, I, I think you told me last time you thought they were a beautiful sight. Oh, I did. I did. They were a beautiful sight. Uh, you remember that? I time. do remember that. Yeah. <laughs>